With 386 different dining locations at Walt Disney World at the time of filming, and yes, I did need to look that up, finding the best one for you can be easier said than done. And that problem can be amplified, especially during the crowded times of year where the most popular restaurants have a tendency to be sold out completely. So today I'm going to go over my top 10 list of the most underrated restaurants at Walt Disney World. Let's get started. Number 10 on my list is Katsura Grill. If you're a fan of sushi like I am, Katsura Grill is definitely the place for you. Even during the most crowded times of year, they're able to move a lot of people through the line extremely quickly, so don't be afraid to jump in line and grab some sushi. Number nine is Cape May Cafe. I'm always surprised when there are a lot of reservations still available for Cape May Cafe, especially the clam bake for dinner. Even though they don't have the characters in the evening, the food is phenomenal. Number eight on my list has been around since prehistoric times. At least that's what we're meant to believe. It's T-Rex at Disney Springs. If you're a fan of the rain Rainforest Cafe, you definitely want to take a look at T-Rex. I mean, theming all over, very similar to the Rainforest Cafe, but with dinosaurs. It's so, so cool, and the food is so much better than I first expected. I went, I had some, I said, okay, I'm looking for, you know, standard food. It was amazing. Try the milkshakes, the ribs, so good. Number seven is Leal in France. Leal has great food throughout the day, but as you may know, one of my favorite times to go is for breakfast. Maybe a ham and cheese croissant, so good. For breakfast today, it's croissant, jambon, fromage and the parfait. Now I haven't tried the parfait here in Leal in a long, long time. Let's try it together. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That, that is so good. That's a parfait. That is a true, real, authentic parfait. I love it. Number six on my list is kind of tucked away in the contemporary resort. It's a little bit difficult to find if you've never been there before. It's the Wave of American Flavor. I have never seen the Wave of American Flavor crowded at the Contemporary Resort, not once. And the food, especially for lunch, is so good. That bison sandwich, it's a sandwich, not a burger, it's really good. The next one on my list is getting a little bit more popular, but I still think it's underrated, Columbia Harbor House. There is something for everyone at Columbia Harbor House, whether it's just chicken nuggets or maybe a special mac and cheese with shrimp, so delicious. The next one is Yak and Yeti at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and I am talking about the restaurant along with the quick service location next to it. When it's extremely crowded at Walt Disney World, Yak and Yeti can filled to capacity, but it's not as common as you might think. And if it is filled to capacity, don't be afraid to go to the counter service restaurant right next to it and try some of the food there. It is all fantastic. Number three on my list is Kona Cafe in the Polynesian Village Resort. If you're looking for a sweet way to start your Disney day, look no further than Tonga Toast at Kona Cafe. That's for breakfast. They do serve lunch and dinner as well. The dinner is obviously more popular than the breakfast. It's all really good. Perfect way to start the day. Tonga Toast at Kona Cafe. Let's give to try together. We're having the Tonga Toast. Don't be afraid to use that maple syrup and the butter. It adds a lot. Just remember, calories don't count at Disney. The Tonga Toast is really delicious. We hit the spot early this morning. The next one on my list is Geyser Point. No matter what time of day you're at Geyser Point, the food is phenomenal. The views are fantastic. It is so relaxing to sit back, relax, just look at the lake, maybe enjoy a bison burger or a salmon bialy. So, so delicious. Okay, let's give it a try together. Absolutely delicious. It's just love it. Love smoked salmon in the no morning, so it's perfect. All right, let's try the bison burger together. Great flavor. Just, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Wow. Last but not least, the number one most underrated restaurant, in my opinion, at Walt Disney World is Sanaa in Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kidani Village. Sanaa is best known for its bread service, but no matter what you get there, I have a feeling you're going to be happily surprised. All of the food is amazing, especially the chocolate cake for dessert as well. Some of the best I have ever had. I cannot recommend this one highly enough. This might be some of the best I've ever had at Disney. I mean, this is, this is right up there with the top. Wow. The Kenyan coffee mousse. There is no way I'm going to be able to finish this, but I will be able to give it a try and let you know how it is. That's exceptional. Exceptional. I just wish I could pack this up and take it with me. Now, I did want to include a few bonus locations that didn't quite make the cut, but I still wanted to include them. The first one is Tapanido, which is the hibachi-style restaurant inside Japan. It's super good and usually isn't that crowded. I also wanted to include Le Artisan de Glace in France. If you have not tried the ice cream from there, I highly recommend it on your next Disney adventure. Some of the best around. I'm telling you, so good. So what do you think of my top 10 list of the most underrated restaurants at Walt Disney World? Let me know if I missed yours in the comments below, I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.